back in the days, back in the days, it was this chick named Keisha Jackson. And Keisha Jackson was the prettiest girl in her school. Nice body. Everybody wanted Keisha Jackson, right? So it was these three nerdy kids. They used to always hold doors for her, say good morning to her. And you know, they would treat her real nice and real, um, you know, like a queen. She would always shit on these three nerdy kids. One day she dropped uh, her books. The three nerdy kids rushed to pick the books up. We got you, Keisha. She grabs the book, ooh. Spins off, she don't tell him thank you or nothing. Keisha Jackson was att attracted to a dude named Cash. Cash was an all-American basketball player. He was known in the school. He had the handle, all the divas was on him. But he used to curve all the divas. Because Cash dated the head of the cheerleaders. And the head of the cheerleaders was Tamika Johnson. So anyway, Keisha Jackson on Cash Dick. She pressing him, Cash, what up? When you want to get with me, I'm feeling you. You be curving me. Fucking with that bitch to me because she's a square, she's nobody, she's trash, she a cheerleader, I'm a super diva. So, anyway, Keisha pressing, 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 pressing. Eventually, Cash gives in, he starts cheating. Somehow, Tamika Johnson finds out, she checks him about it, they get into a big argument, Cash cuts her off. The breakup was so bad, Tamika Johnson switched high schools. She went to a whole nother school. Now, Keisha Jackson is Cash wifey. The whole school know a whole Cash and, Cash and Keisha Jackson is together. Boom, 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 boom. So, you know, nobody messing with Keisha Jackson. Nobody hollering at her or nothing. One day, one of the nerd dudes said good morning to Keisha Jackson. Cash said, what the fuck you saying? What up to my girl for you? You nerd ass nigga. Cash smacks the nigga hat off. The nerd dude like, oh shit, I don't want no problems. Anyway, eventually the three nerd dudes transfer out to school because they don't want no problems. The three nerd dudes is friends. They don't want no problems with Cash. Cash wound up playing against Riverside and he tore his ACL in his ankle. I mean, he tore his ACL in his Achilles tendon. Keisha thought Cash was going to be this big, 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 big time basketball player. So anyway, the doctor said, yo, you, you're, gonna, you're not going to be able to play indefinitely. Like, you're injured, your ACL is fucked up, your Achilles tendon is fucked up. Like, it's over for you. It's over for your career. You know what I'm saying? Look at this dude. Bro, I'm homeless, bro. I don't got no money. Nah, I'm fucked up. We all homeless, bro. So, um, this this why I be this why I be skipping. When I'm blogging, this why I be skipping shit, cause people always coming up to me. But I just show y'all tonight. So y'all don't think I'm fucking. So anyway, the doctor said, yo, you going you're not gonna be able to play indefinitely. Like it's over for you. So Cash like, damn, what I'ma do? You know what I'm saying? Mad colleges, I had scholarships for colleges. So Keisha like, fuck that, nigga, get, get some street money, like boom, 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 boom. We gonna fast forward, 10 years later. Cash is a big, 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 big time drug dealer in the five boroughs. He's known, he's tearing niggas up, he's busting his gun, he's hopping out Porsches, he's getting all type of chicken, he's icy in the club, he's popping bottles. Keisha got her wish. You know, she's still on her super diva shit. She running around full length, full length furs, red bottoms. She doing it up. One day, Cash get into a big shootout with a rival drug dealer. He sends some demons at him. They, they ambush Cash. They catch him at the red light, shoot his car up, switch cheese the car. Cash get hit up. Ooh. Do, 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 do. They tears him up. Cash go to the hospital. They rush him to the ER. He's coming into the trauma unit. Keisha gets word. She meets him there. Cash, where you at? Cash, where you at? 
They like, miss, 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 what's going on? Calm down. She like, my boyfriend was shot up. They shot his car. They like, oh, you the girlfriend? And she like, yeah. They like, oh, all right, he's over here in the trauma unit, right? So when they're in the trauma unit, you know, they like, we went for the doctor. She like, hurry up. You know, hurry up. My man is shot up. He's leaking. He could die. They like, miss, we stabilized him. He's good. Just, just chill out. We went for the doctor. So she's like, well, where the fuck the doctor at? He could die. She's panicking. Eventually, the doctor comes in. So the doctor like, miss. The doctor like, miss. You got to get out the room because you yelling, you panicking too loud. You know what I'm saying? You acting crazy. You want to distract me and the nurses. So she like, well, fit, make sure my man is all right. You know what I'm saying? I want to make sure he, you know, he don't die or whatever and he get the proper care. He like, wait on, wait a minute. Don't I know you? She's like, nigga, you don't know me. Like, nigga, I don't know no doctors. Like, you think your name is Keisha Jackson? She like, yeah, why? You're like, oh, you don't remember me? I'm Billy Baxter. Billy Baxter? From high school? He like, yeah, remember I said good morning to you one day? And your boyfriend smacked my hat off? She like, oh shit, yeah, I remember you. Oh. He like, whatever happened to that guy? She said, that's him right there. He like, Cash? So he ain't recognize Cash. Cash done got some muscles. Cash is super brolic now. Icy, icy chains. Cash grew a big, big, big beard. You know, a lot of New York niggas got big, big beards now. They not even Muslim. <laughs> but they just got big, big beards like they from Philly. So Cash got the super big beard. You know what I'm saying? He got the cornrows, super brolic with the icy chain. So he like, oh shit, that's cash. The doctor revives him. The doctor gets, takes all the bullets out, whatever, whatever they, you know, gets him back to good health, everything. She like, yo, good looking out, Billy. Ooh. One day she see him in the hospital, good looking out, Billy. You know, you saved my man, you saved my husband. Yeah, he like, yeah, no problem, don't mention it. Now, mind you, when they switched Cheese Cash's car, the cops found five bricks in his car. So the cops come in one, they come into his room one day, Keish is in the room, they put the handcuffs to the bed. Cash said, yeah, what the fuck are y'all niggas doing? They're like, oh yeah, you're under arrest. You know, we the feds, you're under arrest. You found five kilos in your car, you know, the day you was shot up. He like, no, nah, that shit ain't mine, bro. So Keisha like, nah, y'all niggas is bugging. Y'all lying, y'all set him up. Anyway, they like, well, you better get a lawyer because you're facing 25 to life. So now Keisha panicking, whatever, whatever. So she's looking for different lawyers or whatever. So a few people on the street like, you need to go check this guy. He's a good lawyer. She's like, that name sounds familiar. She goes to the law firm. She goes to the Cochran Law Firm. Hey, miss, can we help you? Yeah, I'm looking for a lawyer, uh, um, Tommy Chambers. Oh, Tom Chambers is in his office. Let me, let me buzz him. Hey, Tom. Yeah, there's a lady out here. She's here to see you. The dude, Tom, comes out. Like, may I help you? She's like, yeah, my boyfriend. You know, he's facing 25 to life in the feds. They just locked him up. They said they found five kilos in his car. He like, for real? So she like, yeah. He like, you look familiar. You don't remember me? She like, no. Like, your name is Keisha Jackson, right? So she like, yeah. So he like, I'm, I'm Tommy Chambers. Like, I used to pick your books up and used to drop them in the hallway in school. She like, oh, hold on, hold on. Let this ambulance go by. Like, oh my god, Tommy, I didn't even recognize you. So, fam suited up, spectacle glasses, he brawlic, he swaggied out. She like, yo, I ain't even recognize you. Well, he like, yeah, yo, um, who, who's the guy that you with that I'm representing? She like, Cash. He like, Cash, I used to bully us in high school. So, she like, yeah. Short in the story. Cash wound up fighting the case. It's time to go to trial. The trial judge pulls up. Order in the court, order in the court. Everybody please rise. 
the honorable judge, boom, boom, whatever, whatever, whatever. Everybody, please be seated. So he like, your honor, my client, such and such, boom, boom, boom. So the judge like, hold on, is that Keisha Jackson in the audience? So the lawyer and the judge is tight, they friends. He like, yes, that's Keisha Jackson. He like, I remember you. So she like, your honor, I don't remember you. He like, I used to put your books up every morning and you used to drop them. And your boyfriend used to bully me. So she like, oh my fucking God. Like, oh my God, she starts panicking, right? So they like, who's your, who's your client, uh, Mr. Tom? He like, oh, my client is uh, Cash Bryant. Cash Bryant? From school, from high school? He like, yeah, Cash. He like, oh, this is gonna be a good one. Boom, boom, boom. Anyway, they wind up fighting the case. So over lunch, the lawyer and the judge, they talking. They're like, yeah, we gonna railroad this suck ass nigga. This nigga used to bully us in high school. It's quiet for him. Anyway, eventually Cash Bros. trial. He gets 25 to life. Keisha like, fuck you, judge. Fuck you, your honor. It's an injustice. Y'all trying to, y'all railroaded my husband, my man. He like, you still in change. You still the same. So anyway, there, Keisha had to pawn all her jewelry, sell all her furs. She had to get rid of all her property because now, you know, the boyfriend got 25 to life. She need money. She used to a certain lifestyle. She don't got no money because he was the money maker or whatever. She pawns all her jewelry, sells all her furs and everything. As time went on, you know, he got like five years in jail now. He like on his fifth year in jail. All her money is running out. So she had to go to a shelter. When she checks into the EAU shelter, they said, oh, Miss Keisha Jackson, you're gonna need a case manager, boom, 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 or whatever, whatever. So she like, all right, no problem. They're like, yeah, you gotta wait. She's waiting for hours. Where the fuck is the case manager? My kid hungry, I gotta feed my kids. You know what I'm saying, boom, 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 boom. The case manager eventually comes out. <laughs> it's Tamika Johnson, <laughs> the ex-girlfriend from high school. So she like, oh shit, Keisha, what's going on? She like, Tamika Johnson? She like, yeah, I'm your case manager. She like, oh my fucking God, I'm doomed, you know what I'm saying? So she like, what's going on, what happened? She like, you know, Cash got locked up, he got 25 to life, he had got shot up, you know, I had, to, I had to, you know, liquidate all my funds, sell all my jewelry, my furs, everything. The money ran out, I'm fucked up. I need an apartment, boom, 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 boom. Tamika says, see, the difference between me and you is I ain't a petty bitch. I remember you snaked me in high school and you took my man from me. She's like, but I'm going to help you and I'm going to guide you and I'm going to show you the way so you can get an apartment for them kids. She's like, I don't give a fuck about you and I don't give a fuck about cash, but I'm going to do it for them kids. And she helped her and eventually the chick got out the tier two shelter and she got a subsidized rent apartment, right? I only got 15 minutes to do this, so we 1336. I'm going to get to the point now. The point is this. Number one, you shouldn't never treat people bad in life because you never know who you're going to need later on. Two, women always make the wrong decisions. The dudes that be good for them, they'll curve them, they'll shit on them, they'll clown them. And they'll fuck with the nigga they like or they think is the best choice. And most of them niggas don't be the best choice. And then chicks be stuck 24, 5, 6, 7 kids later or whatever. And then when a good man is too late, the mileage on you is ran high. Number three. All the dudes that went to school back in the days that was the nerds and goofballs. Those are the niggas that somebody now in the society. All the dudes that was cool back in the days and the cool niggas and the popular niggas, all them niggas is dead or in jail. So to all the kids out there listening, it's better to be the nerd dude. It's better to read the books, get the education, and get the career. Fuck the streets because the streets don't love nobody, so y'all shouldn't love the streets. 
iron, intelligence rule over negative nonsense, warlord, wisdom and righteousness is law over reckless decisions. 